Quartet Plus was an idea from many years ago. You know, I started out playing classical piano and violin both, and um, got into jazz um, much later, and always uh, wanted to find a way to uh, bring strings back somehow. You know, that sound is very much a part of my past. I played in orchestras and uh, chamber ensembles. So when I got this grant uh, from the New York Foundation for the Arts, a New York City Women's Fund grant, uh, I applied with this project and I was so thrilled when it was funded so I could finally do this. It's always exciting to play with Helen and to record with her. Uh, this current project is no exception. She has uh, written a lot of very beautiful music and uh, this time for the first time since I've been with her, she has invited a fantastic string quartet to play with us. It's been a great experience playing with Helen, a great learning experience. Her um, knowledge coming from classical music and joining that with jazz music has been um, really enlightening for me, how she's uh, melding these things together. So bringing two very different quartets from different worlds together is really exciting and a challenge too because uh, coming from the classical world how classical musicians interpret rhythm how they interpret music is just so completely different than jazz artists so I'm so lucky to have the Harlem Quartet we met on a gig with a great clarinetist Eddie Daniels a few years ago and I thought oh they're, they're terrific they get this jazz stuff when she reached out to us about this project, we got really excited. And she wrote all of this music for her band and string quartet. So it's nice to come together, to put it together, and to be a part of Helen's magical music world that's always happening in her head. Since I play the violin too, I'm very picky about how I want jazz violin to sound. And I remember when I first re heard Regina Carter with Kenny Barron at the Blue Note, it's like, ah! That's how jazz violin should sound. I'm just beyond thrilled that she agreed to uh, be a part of this project to co-produce and help with the whole uh, classical string quartet, the string aspect of the music. Every culture of music has its own language, its own groove culture. And so sometimes trying to, you might write a piece of music and you put that piece of music in front of a jazz musician and they'll interpret it one way. And a jazz, a jazz musician and a European classical musician, they're gonna interpret the same thing that's written on that piece, that piece of paper totally two different ways. The Harlem String Quartet, they performed with so many jazz greats. I feel like they, they're they the ones to have on a, on a session because they, they have an understanding. It's not a foreign language for them. I think it's a great moment for this particular project. Uh, the music is all written by women, and uh, I've been able to arrange music by landmark uh, women artists, folks like Mary Lou Williams, Jerry Allen, Toshiba Kiyoshi, Color Blay, Mary McPartland, and I also contributed a few originals of my own. So, uh, made by women, composed and arranged by women. <laughs>